Hey peeps, welcome back to Project Anonymous, and in today's video, we're going to make this leather patched hat. Let's get to it. So for today's project, we're going to be engraving a laserable leatherette with our Montfort GI20 fiber laser. And we're going to be attaching the patch to the hat because the leatherette has a self-adhesive backing that it just needs heat to apply to stick there permanently. So should we get to the project? Let's go. All right, so this is what we're going to be using today. We got this two pack of black hats, and then we've got this 30 pack of self adhesive little leather patches that kind of look like they'll be sewn on once we stick them on there. But right now, we're just going to pick a color that we're going to use or a type of patch we're going to use to put on one of the hats for a test. And I think this would look really cool. So we'll go ahead and set up a design to put on this patch. Okay, so for this project, we're gonna use our fiber laser. So I'm gonna set this up for our fiber laser here. And then I'm gonna drag in our design that we're gonna use. And we're gonna obviously trace this, right click, trace image, perfect. And then we are gonna to have to shrink this down. And I'm gonna go ahead and lock the dimensions here so that when I adjust the width, I want it to be two inches, I want the height to automatically adjust. So that's gonna be perfect right there. And now for this project, we kinda of wanna write some text in here, like established and then 2020, since that's when our channel started. So now we just need to kind of pick some text. I can kind of visually see where this is kind of centered in there, but I wanna make sure that it's on the same plane as this 2020. So I'm gonna go ahead and select both by hitting shift and selecting the second object. And then I'm gonna go ahead and align it in the center here. Okay, so now it's about figuring out how are we going to do this on the fiber laser? How do we want the settings to be? So we're gonna to have to start with really low power and kind of work our way up to see if we can get the design to pop up really nicely. Uh, the reason we're using the fiber laser for this project is because the accuracy we'll be able to get because the fiber laser can do this leather project no problem. But the way that it projects the image on there, I want it to be absolutely perfectly centered in that circle. And the fiber laser does the best at getting it lined up. So now I just kind of need to pick, well, what setting do I want to start with? I think I'll start with just 20% and then I want to go really fast through it just to make sure we don't burn through this. So do one pass and then I'll do 0.025. That's good there. And then I'm going to have it do a cross hatch at a 45 degree angle. And that looks good. And we'll go ahead and start with this and see how it turns out. Okay, let's get this set up in the laser. So you can see with this little red laser, it really perfectly places where this design is gonna be. Okay, first run. Okay. I think we have the settings right. The unfortunate thing is this just kind of concave like this. So you can see some areas where it's not engraving quite well, but what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna leave it where it is, and I'm gonna lower the laser head just a tad because this is a very small focus area. I think it's 110 millimeter lens. So the focus area is very narrow. So I think if I lower it just a tad, we'll be able to get a little bit sharper results on the middle area there. So just a tad, and then let's try that again. Okay, I'm gonna lower it just a tad more because again, it's not getting the middle area. And I've noticed our text isn't there at all. So I'm going to, after I run this time, I'm going to just run the text and see if I can get the text to go by itself. So now I'm just going to ungroup this and I'm gonna select just the text. And again, I'm not sure why it didn't engrave the text at all, but now that I have that highlighted, I'm going to just engrave the text here. So let's try that. Okay, I see. Uh, it's a little bit too fast to do the text, so I'm going to slow it down to 1000. Let's try that. One more time. Thank you. 
Well, we ruined it just a little bit, but I think we got our settings right, but I did forget to select the circle in that last pass, which made it so that it's more of a silhouette. But now we have our settings that we want and we can go ahead and put a new patch in and try that out. But definitely I think doing each of the shapes individually helps make sure we're getting the right, I don't know, focus area. Like this text didn't show up at all when we did the whole thing together. So that was kind of weird, but let's try a new one. And here's the finished product and it turned out perfect. I love it. So slowing it down helped quite a bit in getting a little bit more detail and contrast. You can see here how it kind of faded towards the corners here on this one. I had nice crisp edges here. So not only turning it down, but also doing the shapes individually for some reason helped quite a bit. So I did each of the shapes individually and each of the words individually and that helped quite a bit. So we're gonna have to save these settings uh, for future leather projects that we can do on, you know, other stuff, but this is perfect. All right, so the next part that we need to experiment with is uh, getting the heat settings right to melt this glue to make sure it sticks well. And rather than trying this on our hat, we are gonna go and test on this little scrap piece of denim here, and we're gonna use our not so good result here to try to get that right. What we've done some research on is on the iron, you wanna go ahead and set it to the nylon. Ideally, this is heated up to 280 degrees and that is right around where nylon is and polyester, right in between nylon and polyester. So we're gonna make sure our setting here is between two and three. Okay, very important here. You don't wanna put the iron directly on this patch. You wanna put a towel over it. So we're just gonna put this little shop towel right over it and then We'll just kind of press the iron on there until the glue sticks. All right, let's see if that did it. Not at all. Put it on there a little bit longer. That's good. Oh. Try that again. Okay, so we got the settings right on the iron. So we set that to the side. And you can see here, what you're looking for is when you can kind of pull the edges and it doesn't peel up. Now, ideally we would use kind of a formed little lump here for the hat. We don't have that, we just have this ironing board. So we're just gonna kind of put this here. So I got to stick at the top, which is good. Okay, so we got it to stick down to the hat. Unfortunately, because we don't have like a hat mold, you can see we ironed in some creases here in the hat, which is unfortunate. But I think if we had something rounded that we could put the iron against to hold it there, we'd get better results there. But we did get it to stick down, but we did have to turn up the heat on the iron. But uh, otherwise, it turned out pretty good. So I think the results of this project turned out really cool. Do you have any thoughts about the process? Well, it was really easy to engrave this leatherette, like super easy to set up and get it done. And of course we could repeat this for many more projects using those circles that we, we got in different colors. The hard part for us was getting the heat just right to get it to attach. So what's really cool about these leatherette patches is you can attach it to literally anything. So if you had a bag or, you know, backpack, it'd be really cool to customize some kind of patch and then just stick it on there to whatever it is that you want. And really cool. 
Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you're reminded every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.